Uh, okay, this morning we're just going to do a little uh, video on uh, on the new poly bushes that uh, we're about to supply as an optional uh, extra for our radius arms. Now, in the past we've used um, uh, aftermarket bushes. Um, success was hit and miss. Unfortunately, the quality control on aftermarket bushes is, is not that great. Um, so what we ended up doing was saying, look, genuine bushes only. Uh, because we know that the life of a genuine bush is exceptional um, and these are the best option. The downside, I suppose, when we talk about bushes, example, uh, here's an offset bush that someone would put into a standard arm to create caster where they're only going to get uh, a minimum of about three degrees of caster, which is the bare minimum requirement for a, a standard arm on a, uh, on a two inch lift, for example. As you can see with this type of poly bush, um, with the offset and everything and the hard poly, there's literally no movement in that bush. So what that does is it, it makes that arm want to flex through the beam of the arm, which an I-beam arm is designed to do. Unlike a solid arm that's that's rigid, you want, you want your arm to be able to flex in its material. So hence, they're an I-beam in shape. They also um, will bend in an accident um, and not become dangerous in an impact. Um, so hence, uh, the J-Max arms are an I-beam as well. They are 60% stronger, they're fully machined, no welding, um, and comply with all the standards. So we were supplying, obviously, uh, genuine bushes, which was a great option. We've just now been able to source a new poly bush. Uh, now these have been supplied to us. Um, they're not for individual sale. They will be only supplied with J-Max arms. If you're an existing J-Max customer with arms, we can uh, source these bushes for you if required. Now, these are different to any other poly bush on the market. So what we're basically seeing on these bushes is they exceeded under OE testing, they exceeded the genuine bush. So they lasted longer than the genuine bush. Um, and they do hundreds of thousands of cycles on the machines to test them. So that was one thing. The other thing is what we're seeing is, and I'm gonna take it straight off the paperwork because it's gonna be more specific, radial stiffness. So that stiffness backwards and forwards, which is, um, two and a half times um, more substantial than the factory bush. So everything was compared to the genuine bush, which has really been the best bush available up till now. Um, which translates to uh, noise and vibration and impact hardness. The other one is actual stiffness, which is this way. So actual stiffness relates to vehicle tracking. So um, they're, they're increased in actual stiffness. Also in conical, the conical stiffness is lower by two, the factor of two. So now where we see conical stiffness, we talk about, everyone talks about flex up in a bush. So if we put a bar in this bush here and we pull on it, we can get some flex in that factory bush. They're quite rigid. The new poly bush, massively different. So these things here are just huge on flex. So, very, very good bush. Um, torsional stiffness, which is, is torsional is obviously this way. Um, it gives you a smoother transfer of torque reaction. So they're actually, the, the torsional stiffness is reduced by 30%. So, but like I said, these things are available now uh, with our arms. Um, you'll see them on our website. Um, but yes, they are probably the best bush on the market for radius arms. Um, you know, which equates to a much better product at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, if you want any more information, jump on uh, our website at jmax.com.au.